Nicholas has even higher expectations for himself. He wanted to uh, win every match by submission. It looked good for us. Oh, no, no, always looking good. <laughs> I would win against almost everybody. Get my medal and then come back home with one more title. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, there are champions, there are legends, and then there's Nicolas Marigali. With a dynamic and technical style that leaves his opponents in awe, Marigali is an unstoppable force on the mats. He's a black belt world champion, a submission grappling phenom, and a true martial artist at heart. But his journey to the top hasn't been easy. From humble beginnings in Sao Paulo to conquering the world's biggest stages, Nicholas Marigali's tale is one of passion, perseverance, and pure greatness. Chapter 1. From White to Black, His Roots It was in a quiet town of Santo Antonio, in the Brazilian state of Rio Grande do Sul, that Marigali took his first steps to greatness. As a teenager, Marigali joined the ACJJ Academy in his hometown, where he began to train under the guidance of instructor Jefferson Adan. It wasn't long before Marigali's talent for grappling began to shine through. He was winning things early already, but Marigali knew that if he wanted to take his skills to the next level, he needed to train with higher level partners in a more competition-driven atmosphere. So he decided to pack his bags and move to Porto Alegre, the capital of his state, to train full-time under the supervision of Mario Hayes, one of the most accomplished athletes ever produced in the south of Brazil. Chapter 2. Grappling with Success – Accomplishments After receiving his blue belt, Adan encouraged Nicholas to compete more frequently, and the boy certainly delivered. At the tender age of 17, he blitzed the coveted CBJJ Brazilian National Championship title. Under Hayes' tutelage, Marigali's skill continued to reach new heights, earning him multiple major titles at purple and brown belt, including two double gold world titles. In 2016, Marigali received his black belt, and his first real challenge at this level came in the form of Leandro Lowe at the 2017 Pan Championship. Despite losing to Lowe twice, Marigali did not let the setback dampen his spirit. He worked even harder, preparing for his first world title appearance as a black belt. Marigali's hard work paid off as he won his first world title at Black Belt in 2017, defeating the overwhelming favorite, Leandro Lowe, in the finals. Marigali just beat Leandro Lowe. He continued to impress in 2018, but a loss in the semifinals of the World Championship event left him hungry for more. And more he got in 2019, Marigali went on an unbeaten streak leading up to the World Championship where he submitted all his opponents to win his second world title. Nicholas Marigali ended 2019 on a high note, submitting multiple-time BJJ world champion Roberto Cyborg Abrio and winning the inaugural BJJ Stars GP in Brazil. He has become a BJJ legend, inspiring young grapplers with his unwavering dedication. Marigali's De La Riva and Lasso Guard are his well-known go-to sweeps, which he executes with lethal precision extending his De La Riva hook all the way to the opposite leg side. He has a remarkable 70% finish record, winning 58 of his 83 career victories by submission. In 2021, the jiu-jitsu world was shocked by a mass exodus from Alliance BJJ just before the IBJJF World Championship. World champions Ana Rodriguez and Nicolas Marigulli were among the biggest names to leave and join Izaki's Bahiniancy's dream art project. Marigali's departure, in particular, was unexpected given his strong relationship with Mario Hayes. Marigali approached his fourth attempt at a world title as the overwhelming favorite. Many people thought he would easily win his third world championship. Using the same loop choke that he used to defeat Cyborg the previous time they faced each other. Marigali could get the finish here. He's out! Cyborg wow. is out! Nicholas won his first match in the ultra heavyweight division and put Cyborg to sleep. 
Mary Gully then faced off against the top dog of Iberio Jiu-Jitsu, Victor Hugo, in a thrilling semi-final bout. However, he would give the finger to an audience member who had been calling him out for stalling during the game. So because of this, Nicholas was kicked out of the event and denied the opportunity to face Felipe Pena in the finals. If Nicholas had not lost his composure and given the finger to the spectator, he could have won it all, in both his division and the absolute division. Marigoldi, however, was determined to redeem himself in 2022. In the super heavyweight division, he fell short, losing to Eric Muniz by points. Yeah, look at the posture from uh, Muniz. As far away as possible, he knows that all he needed to do was to hang on. Mary Gully submitted all of his opponents, including Muniz, in the absolute finals. The 2022 absolute champion, Nicholas Marigali. In a shocking move, he announced his transition to no-gi competition. And even more surprising, he joined forces with John Danaher and Gordon Ryan at New Wave Jiu-Jitsu. Under Danaher's guidance, Mary Gully quickly adapted to the no-gi game. He made a successful debut at WNO 13, Several different armbar variations, but it was the, the head and arm at the end that did the trick, so. Submitting his opponent with an arm triangle. Completely in his favor. Mergali actually relieves the pressure. And after defeating Rafael Lovato Jr. at WNO 14. I think that's that a looks lot good, tighter. that looks good. Stop. There yeah. is the finish, there is the tap. He earned an invitation to the prestigious ADCC tournament. Many doubted Marigali's ability to compete at ADCC, but he proved them wrong, beating former champion Yuri Samos and placing third in his division and the absolute division. Marigali faced off against Samos once again in the finals. He put up a valiant fight, but ultimately lost by decision, earning a silver medal. You openweight champion, and that is it, Yuri Samos. Before we continue with the video, be sure to subscribe and comment, I subbed, to enter in our monthly shout-out giveaway. And now, let's get back into it. Chapter 3. Where is he now? On May 18th, the stage will be set for a thrilling gi match in the evening's main event. The reigning WNO light heavyweight champion in no gi, Pedro Mourinho, will be donning his gi to face off against a very certain Nicholas Marigol. Both competitors are renowned for their technical prowess. Here with Pedro Mourinho, thanks for inviting us down here to Houston. Obviously, you have a big match coming up. He's number one on May 18th. How is Pedro Mourinho doing? Everything great, you know, man. Like, I've been training a lot, keep it with the intensity. Training, take care of everything outside of Jiu-Jitsu, too. So, I feel pretty good going into this match. It will be a 15-minute submission-only affair. With all leg entanglements and submission legal, this is sure to be a fierce battle that fans won't want to miss. Until then, we will be waiting in anticipation of the day we see Marigali once again square up to his opponent with that familiar, laser-focused look in his eye. 